Good evening and welcome back to Timberborn here on the Ark with a life of luxury where we are actually planning the luxury now. We're going to pick up where we left off in the middle of designing the entertainment district. We've also got shrines. Now shrines I was thinking of putting behind the house here anyway. And then doing lidos on the uh, uh, rooftop terraces. Uh, the rooftop terraces are also, rooftop terraces are also something that I feel you need a fair few of. Actually, that, that would work, that would work, that would work. So, what if we did this? A path like that. We have a temple here. Uh, we've got some stuff in here, which I think we're going to put in our statues. Shame I can't get all of it. That would be so nice to be able to get all of them. Don't think there's any way I could do that with the, the limited space I have here. Because I need to put a statue in my ear to get all of them. There's no way I can do that. Even if I move these over by one, left a gap in between. Uh, actually, actually, yeah, can. Yes, can. What we'll do, what we'll do. Get rid of this road around the outside. And we'll grab our campfires again. Designing, right. and we'll turn them that way. Like that. Whip. And then we can build a path down here. Down here. Like that. Does leave a little bit of a gap behind us, which we're not doing anything with. And what I'll do is I will move the temple back by one. Gives us more less stuff to do spaces in there, or more spaces to do stuff in there, more stuff to do spaces in there. No, the other way around. Uh, and then we can go with decoration and we can get them. The, the statue gives them um, aesthetics, and aesthetics, if I remember correctly, uh, adds to the beaver statue here, um, as the woodworking speed and mecha working speed. So it's not really fantastic, but all beavers will want to come down here, they'll want to come to the temple. If you have one temple, that means every beaver will want to come to the temple at some point. Which means, if you put your bon bonuses next to... I'm really sorry my words today, I do apologise. But if you put your bonuses next to the temple, then all beavers get the bonuses at some point during the day. Because they have to come here. It's the same as putting it near your houses. Um, they all have to come to houses to sleep. So if you put them near the houses, then you're guaranteed to get it. So just, just makes sense in my head to do it this way. So if we were to put a beaver statue there and one there, that gives us access to the or everything. It hits all the campfires and the temple, which is awesome. Uh, the wind vane's not needed. You've got roofs and things as well, which you can uh, get benefits from. So we're going to do that as well. Uh, and we're just going to do this in a very, very sort of mini cheaty way. Uh, not really a cheaty way, but we're just going to put a roof tile in there and there is like a little center go to the thing and that will hit all four of these and then we can also do it outside the temple here Oop, like that and that will give a bonus to the temple as well so all of these are now getting the oil statue and the aesthetic roof is awesome what other bonuses can we get very quickly let's have a quick look here uh statue roof shrub and Scarecrow. Scarecrow is different to statue. Okay. Uh, so we put Scarecrow in opposite here, and that will give a bonus to all of them. And make sure we're facing it the right way. That way for that one. And that for that one. There we go. We do have some dead tiles back here. Uh, I don't know what we could do with those. Uh, or shrub, I suppose. Yeah. Shrub, shrub. Shrub, shrub. And then we can do. Uh, like a shrub either side, a scarecrow either side as well. Bit of a waste, but I kind of want to just make it that sort of that line. And then we can put in uh, a couple of seats as well. Benches don't do anything. Uh, they're not actually of any use for your beavers. Uh, but you just leave them somewhere to sit down. A nice little garden area down here. 
looks quite nice. Um, you can't go back. You should go back one more. We should put a thing here as well, beside the statue behind it. But we can't. We're going to have some dead space in between. Uh, fences don't do anything. Um, you can build fences if you want to, but they they, they they don't have any use, so I don't bother. Um, uh, generally, benches I don't have any use for. If I've got space and I just want to put like something down, I'll put a bench in because at least the beaver can come and use it. A fence looks pretty. Uh, don't get me wrong, it looks nice, but it doesn't add any aesthetics to it. I really wish it did. I really wish it added um, aesthetic aesthetics the same way that a roof tile one does. Just has one group around it. So building a fence makes sense. That would that would be nice. So there we go. So we'll build that down there. But I need to change the priority of some things down here. Because obviously we need to make sure uh, stuff is not built. So these and these need to be the lowest priority. And the chairs need to be the lowest priority there. So that they build the things behind them before they build the chairs. Now this is all assuming we have enough goods to build the paper we're fine for. Not a problem. Uh, blocks we're fine for. Planks we're fine for. Just the oh planks they don't require any metal blocks. So yeah, so all that will be built and will be absolutely fantastic and brilliant. Yay! Uh, you are going to be set the sunflower plant. The golems, golems, sunflower plant. I'm going to leave two workers in it by default. Uh, I can't turn it down anyway, but these two workers in it by default to start with. So. We have um, uh, they plant them quicker. That's the idea. Uh, and yeah, they, you should be able to reach all the way up there. That's fine. We've got a little bit of land here to do whatever we want with. Um, not enough to bring a staircase down. No way near enough to bring a staircase down. So we couldn't do that. Otherwise, I would bring a staircase down to here. We could do that. We could bring a staircase down and then change up this centre bit here. I think. Um, what could we? No, we couldn't. No, the staircase would come down and be right on the in entrance of the temple, which is not the one. So, so we'll leave that. I think we'll just plant in. Um, plant some more sunflowers there. There we go. That'll do. Can't plant anything in these here. Uh, don't have any reason for anything in those at all. So, yeah. Okay, so there's that there. Now, rooftop terraces. Uh, we want to do things over here with rooftop terraces. So, I'm going to get rid of this. And I'm going to replace it with a single one. Because I looked at this before. And I thought, aha, we can actually do that. If we do that. Staircase. And then we get some rooftop terraces. We're going to get golems. And we're going to get happiness today. One, two, three. And then we go. One. Two, three. And then on this side, because we don't need any fancy stairs going up, I'm just going to literally put in stairs directly connected to them. Oh, like that. And then these ones can get access. You have to come up here and you have to go up and go down to get access. So it's awkward to get to that one, but it's fine. Fine. And then what we're going to do is we are going to, in the gap, put in shrine. Never sure how many they need for shrines. Uh, we could also put some statues and things in there if we wanted to. Uh, and then this one, I don't know what we're going to do with. Um, I haven't decided yet. I don't really... I mean, not. We could put shrines or anything in there. If we need more shrines, we'll put shrines in there. Uh, showers, we can also do, but we need to do other weird things to get the showers working. So, um, that's going to be probably further back here. And speaking of back here, what if we were to actually platform off a large area? So, uh, oh, um, yeah, I want to leave a gap. I want to leave a gap because otherwise our pumps. Uh, mind you, our pumps only go down too deep. That doesn't matter. We'll do an area like this. And we'll 
we'll start building it off there. I don't know what I want to build off here yet, so I don't know whether we actually want to build that or not at the moment. Uh, I might just build a strip, and then we want to put in some uh, tomatoes, which require hanging off the edge. So maybe we should just do a strip. Down, but it would leave a large gap in the centre not being used. Okay, well what if in that next we uh break it down? Ha! I turned this the wrong way. I turned this the wrong way. We're gonna get rid of that. We'll do maybe we'll look at doing the mud bath here. They do require power, so we have to transfer power. Not sure how we're gonna do that. Especially when I've locked all this in here. But we can probably do it. I'm sure we can figure out a way to do uh... Well, we can definitely run power like underground. Don't know why I did these as three platforms and then one's on top. I should have done two and two. Or I should have done three on the outsides and one. To have the same thing all around. Don't know why. But we have the opportunity to build underneath these. So we might do that. We might try and figure out how to get a power system down underground. And run it along. And it can run along and come up here and then connect to mud baths in the centre. I think that seems like a good plan. Okay, so a little cut in there because I um I want to change this. I want to change this from being two and two to being three and one, which is how I started building it, and then for some reason changed it. But it does involve removing things and then rebuilding things, doing things and changing things. And well, we're gonna do it, but we're gonna do it um in a less than honest way. And by the power of video editing. There we go. It has changed. Yes, things have changed. Uh, all of these platforms are now three and one. So, uh, yeah. They're all done here. Um, so, done. Dusted. Fantastic. No time change. How did you do that? Well, I cheated. There is a cheat menu in the game. If you hold for those who want to wear, shift, alt, and press Z on your keyboard, it will bring up the development console. I have used this. I've mentioned this before um, because I tend to turn off the Skyfog because I think it makes the game better. Uh, but in here, when you have Development Console open, you have the, you have the button here, uh, you can build buildings by holding Control and boom, they get instant built. You don't have to pay for them, you don't have to do anything, they just instantly get built. So that's what I use to do that. Complete 
transparency there. That's what I've used to do that. I haven't built anything that wasn't there already. And yes, I could have done it the other way. I could have removed this section and redone it, then removed this section and redone it, and never worried about water running out, blah, 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 but that's fine. But we now don't have that much water. We have 616 water. Marvel unit. Um, but that's okay, because these pumps will all start pumping. All I need to do is actually increase the work for them. So let's do that in here. If I can do storages, workplaces. And we'll go down to water pump. We can just increase the... Whoa. What's happening there? What is happening there? Whoa. Why do you keep resetting? Stop that. Bad thing. Bad thing. Okay. You can also change beavers in here. You can change the uh, guns and unlock beavers so you can see which buildings you haven't unlocked for beavers yet. Uh, for golems, I should say. Um, so, come through and do that there. Uh, lumberjack pads can all become beavers straight away. Um, you can turn off whether they transport between goods or not. Um, I don't know why you'd ever want to turn that off. I suppose if you were micromanaging things and you didn't want your beavers coming. Um, actually, that would be useful for the Iron Teeth Golems because they have a range. They have a tower for control, so maybe you don't want them wandering away. So you want them there, so that would be useful there. Um, you have your brick mills, what they're doing here. You have all, the, all, the buildings. all the buildings are in here. You can see the performance of how well they're doing. Low performance can either mean they are low on goods so you need to uh, make more goods so they can get things or it's just that they're full on good so you can only click this one here Boom, there it is. here's a bit more he is full on good so his productivity is very low because he's full so yeah yeah you can go in here and change things and do that very easily there gather a flag i think all our farms all our farms are golem powered and all our aquatic farms are golem powered right now so this is also you can change how many people work in them, uh, change what they do, change everything here. It's all very, 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 very useful menu, but there we go. Let's turn development tools off now. We don't need that anymore. And there we go. We have lots of things to build, but we have more to build. We have more to do, so I want to plan the last bit before we actually do the cut and uh, let things get built, because this is going to take a while, especially since we only have one builder, because some idiot thought it would be a good idea to get rid of the other builders up, because we didn't need them anymore. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Maybe we'll put some more builder's huts in. I think we'll do that. Uh, we don't have any unemployed people, but... Okay, we could switch over the art, the, uh, the town centre to be beaver powered, uh, golem powered, and then it would work through the night. Which would speed things up. I think we may do that. Not right now, because we don't have enough golems to do that. Uh, and we don't have enough golems because we're not getting enough parts in was the issue uh, we are now stuff's working now but we didn't have haulers we didn't have any haulers for a while um, but now we've got beavers doing hauling this is, this is great fantastic um so we have one spare workshop up here yeah i think we'll, we'll during the process of doing of uh i will probably switch the the uh, colony over to being golem controlled which will give in to our robot overlords uh, everything can be awesome but we want to run power underneath the world. So if we use the options up here to go down. Aha, here we are. Here we are. Here we are. So we want to run power down this strip here because we want to have mud bath in this area here. So let's put the mud baths in. I don't want to do it here. And mud baths can be one underneath uh, the ground. They can be one tile in water because their door is above the water. So that's fine. Not that I think these will actually be in water, if I'm honest. And also, this is probably huge overkill, but we are living the life of luxury, so we're... But yeah, because the water's actually down here, so these aren't going to be one in water anyway. But if the water raises, it's fine, it doesn't matter. Uh, that's a good point, actually. These are not in the water. They are not actually in the water. And they need to be. The water level isn't high enough around here. 
which is actually a little concerning because our pumps barely touch the water. We want to raise the water level up around the back. So what I need to do is come down here and build like a block to cause the water to flow back. Raise up this side. Hmm. Hmm. Or we can just lower this all down by one. I think that's probably the best way to do it. To lower this all down by one and just deal with the fact the water is one lower here. We're going to be too low here. We do want to raise the water up at least a little bit back here. So we will have to do something to do that. Um, so yeah, so we're going to have to lower that all back down by one. Which is really ironic considering I just raised it all up. Uh, but I didn't raise it up. It was up this level anyway. So Okay, 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 okay. Uh, let's try this again. And there we go. Third build of charm. So they are now just about in the water. And I do mean just about. Not very high up here at all. Um, there is ways we could possibly cause the water to raise up. Um, we could build levees down here and inwards, uh, causing the water that's flowing through here, these two, to collect inside and then force it out this way. We should raise the water level here. Might slow down our power though. So I probably would much rather come out here somewhere and uh, try and build levees back here just trying to force the water to raise up but getting back here would be awful because we need another district so yeah i also don't know how far this district can reach down here because it doesn't show you pathing until it's built so i'm kind of hoping that it can reach all the way down to these maybe it can maybe it can't maybe we'll have to build an entertainment district to move all of our beavers to the entertainment who knows work district entertainment who knows but we want to do power. Also, I want to do this. I want to say, hey, you and you are low priority. So it will build everything in here first. All of this. All this will get built first. And then I'm going to change these to be that one. And then they'll build the stairs. And then they can build this. Okay, so they have, they have their orders. Um, I also had to move this, turn this around. Uh, because in order to get the stairs coming down, I had to move it around. So that's been sp spun around. Um, I think that's about it. Power. Power was the next thing we want to do. Uh, now, these can all share power, so we could quite happily just run a power cable into here. Bump, like this, and these all share power. Like so. But I kind of want to have the, the power line come down here, so we can see it. That's what I want to do. I really want to have the power line come down here, so we can see it. Now, it's going to be awkward. Because um, I also want a power line down here in case we want power down here. That's bad. Um, uh, I kind of think maybe we add that connection there and then just run a line down. Like that. So it just spins in the center. And then maybe we'll add another one on the end as well just to make it look. Um, look pleasing. Um, I need to add a platform here. Oh, I need to change this platform up here. Mistake to make. Really jarring when it turns on and off all the time. Uh, so we need a double platform there. And a double platform here. Like this. A single platform. That across it. I want to have a power plug there. A pole there. And then we can go up by one there. So we can actually see it working. And that's that. And then we go underneath the platform here. We're going to go. Uh, I might run it along here actually, so viewers can see it. They can't build it um, if I do it here. So maybe we'll do it here instead, but they can actually build it, which means we can't see it. Which is bad, too bad. But um, they can't actually get access to it. Although they'll be able to get down here, and if we platformed over this, maybe they could. Actually, they can walk into here. So yeah, here they can. Here they can. Uh, I'm going to run it out against the wall then. Because they can walk into here and do things. And if I do it here, they'll get stuck. That's that's what beavers do. They, they end up getting stuck in places. So let's run it up against the wall. And then I can build it from this side. 
so you won't be able to see it from the uh, the outside. Not that you could probably see it properly anyway there. I'm gonna go in there and run along. Ah, ah, run. Go down. I'm not sure how far we'll go. Um, what we could do, actually, now I'm thinking about it, um, is kind of not cheat, but at least save ourselves some effort and run it into the side of the house. Because houses can transfer power. And then we can come over here and we can build one here. Build one here. Uh, and then we can come over here and we can somehow connect the houses to the buildings above. Because here's where the power is. And we need the power over here. Can't connect it to that. It would have to come up into the back of the building. Well, it wouldn't have to come up, it would just have to go down. Uh, I think actually we do it from here. We just run it down from here. Now, so that's probably not worth powering all those buildings, but it gives us opportunities or choices or, or, or um, options in the future. Because I can't do a great deal here with this coming up and over, because there's no space to move things anywhere we want to go. So. But there's no. Um, this, this high power shaft has to come down one and I can't come down and turn so there's nothing I can do about that there um, and it's the same on this side as well it comes up it comes straight down into these so we'd have to come from these buildings underground connect to these which is going to be easiest to do just on the end or maybe perhaps even yeah, there's no space to do it here at all Just, there's just no space to do it there at all so okay so we're gonna have to do it from from here down so it's gonna be a little a little weird we'll get rid of that one and we'll run it down straight from that building straight down oh, actually actually no, look at that, we we'll, we'll run it from this building. They're all, they're all connected, they're all connected. So we we'll run it down there. Which means we'll put that platform back on top. Oop. Yeah, this, up there. And I am going to power the houses. Because why not? Why not give our beavers some power? They'll love it. They'll love every minute of it. It'll be fine. Uh, up, up, up. Now, here's going to be a bit more of a difficult one. Uh, actually, no, here's going to be a very easy one. Um, where are we coming from? We'll come from exactly the same spot. Boom. And then what we do is we run down like that. Right corner there. A T junction there. And there we go, and then this one in the centre, we we'll come another T-junction. This, and connect to there, and there we go, power! Awesome! And that's running from, from the machines above. Um, for symmetry's sake, I am... Not going to bother. Yeah, I could move it forward by one. Ah, doesn't matter, not important. Okay, we have many things to build and only four beavers to build them. These will become four golems once we get the golems. So we're going to be back in a very, very long time. I don't know how long it's going to be. It's possibly, in fact, yeah, do you know what? It's going to be next episode. So yeah, we'll let this go. Well, let's do its thing. We will let the power grid do its wonderfulness and uh, we shall then return in the next episode when everything is built and done, dusted. And we can finally begin putting our little feet up and enjoying the life of luxury. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this one and I hope to see you again in the next one. And until then, as always, have fun. <laughs>